Ellen Friedlander brings a timely appetite for discontinuity to her camera work. More precisely, in her photographic production, Friedlander evinces a dynamic of continuity within discontinuity and vice versa. The variety in her production itself attests to Friedlander's commitment to a multiple point of view. She is by turns a portrait photographer, an abstractor of the human body, a composer of urban montage, and a landscape photographer who subjects her images to conceptual superstructure. At various moments, Friedlander has a story to tell, a scene to set, or a figure to have pass, giving us different moments or impressions of the earthly comedy, human and beyond. Valuing the quality of spontaneity, perhaps above all, she maintains the immediacy of the photographic image, even while subjecting it to disorder and disjuncture. Observation and reflection are simultaneous and discontinuous. I picked up my camera when I was 16 years old. And there was something about having that equipment in my hands that gave me the impetus to go out on the street. And when I went out on the street, all of a sudden, I had a way of communicating what I saw in a method that gave me a reason to start to explore a medium that soon it became everything to me. So I went to college and I studied photography and I was very fortunate to have instructors and professors who said, if you want to be a photographer the rest of your life, you need to find other people to work with. And so I spent probably the first 30 years of my life working with other photographers in all sorts of capacities. And so in 2017, I had a photograph that I had taken at the Hong Kong bird market that I knew was a pretty special photograph. I had a mentor for six months, Jim Friedman, and Jim really pushed me to my absolute limits. And one night I started playing with different photographs that I had made and I started putting them together like I had back in college. And, and I sent him a couple of these extended frame photographs, which we didn't know what they were at the time. And I woke up to an email from him the next day who said, I wish I had done that. In her series, The Extended Frame, a collection of urban stories, Friedlander notes that she is, quote, visually creating a nonlinear diary of spaces and places that have been imprinted on my psyche, examining the spatial disorientation that I encounter when traveling. This is a perfect description of the collage experience increasingly common to daily life for at least the past hundred years. Friedlander describes the conditions set up in her extended frame montages as if they were dreamt or hallucinated. Quote, This illusion of place is, in fact, visual confusion, but the consistency of elements in the photographs allows for the recognition that the scene could actually exist. So I was very fortunate to live in Hong Kong for 15 years of my life, raising my children. Gave me a lot of inventory from shooting. But I've been back since then and have found myself, again, very lucky to be on the street. And this particular photograph, Breakfast in Shenwan, came together in one day. It was a magical moment, super early in the morning. Nobody really is out on the street in Hong Kong. They're sleeping in. And this gentleman is looking for Yum Ta breakfast in Hong Kong. And this red sign is $35, which is basically $4 for a full meal. And I was riveted by his gesture. I remember standing there and following him up the stairs. So after making several photographs, that whole day I seemed to be possessed by silver and red and just little moments that I didn't realize I was shooting. And then came home at the end of the day and noticed that it kind of just flowed. Whereas I can say the photograph above this, the woman on the left-hand side drinking her soup for the day, she had captivated me. I made six, seven hundred photographs of her on a daily basis. She sold newspapers. And I didn't know this until the end, but, but on that last day when I learned her story, she's a 70-year-old grandmother. She at times would have a stroller on one hand, the newspaper in the other as people walked by. And most of the time they walked up the stairs to a very famous old 
dim sum restaurant in Hong Kong. And so I made that photograph and I didn't know where I was going to go with any of them. And then I was fixated again with this still life in the center with the mirror. There was just something about the tilt of the mirror that caught my eye and as the people walked by, I have photographs with policemen in the background, I have photographs with older women having conversations, but just this woman walking by with that, that baby cascading out of her, you know, front pack, it, it just kind of spoke to me. And then Marilyn in Hong Kong. I mean, this is what was magic about walking the streets in Hong Kong on a daily basis, is that you would see glimmers of other cultures here and there amongst this very Asian city. It's all about creating this new vantage point because our urban cities are changing so quickly before us. And so my extended frame now is my way of looking at the city.